big development today in the computer wars between Savitar Software and Thornhill Industries. With a business report and the details, here's Connie McKinnon. Industry analysts report Hello, that Mr. if the Cameron. strike is not resolved within the next two weeks, third quarter profits could hit an all-time low. Savitar Software closed up six points today. Nobody's talking on the record, but the rumor is their new handheld direction finder could be rolled out about three months earlier than predicted. Now you'll have no excuse for you to get lost on the way home ever again, Dan. <laughs> there is no way the way to roll out. Residential construction stats. Beecham! I heard. Savitar is leaking stories about their new handheld navigator. And we are taking the hit. Where's a... Mercer, I've already talked to him. And? Production delays on the line, erratic output, unacceptable error rates in the new chips. They still can't find the source of the dirt. In other words, nothing has changed. Where's my brother? Haven't heard from Kevin since he left last week, and he's not answering his email. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, come on, boss. You know how he gets. Will you stop making excuses for him? It is time for him to take responsibility for the business. It is not enough to be brilliant. Skipper, welcome aboard. Kevin, what are you doing here? We need to talk. Robert must be really upset about the Savitar announcement. He's not upset with you. It's not your fault. It is my fault. I'm the one to talk my brother into backing this. It was a sure thing. We were way ahead of Savitar. We haven't seen what Savitar has got yet. Nobody has. They're just trying to spook us. Well, it's working. Why can't we get the Thornhill Explorer right? Maybe I missed something. I can't understand it. Robert trusted me with this, and I'm gonna drive him into bankruptcy. Don't worry about it, Robert. He'll survive. He always does. But I have to take the boat out. I had some work done on the steering linkage, and I want to check it out before it gets dark. So why don't we meet at the plant tomorrow, and we'll talk about this. We'll We'll find a solution. Sure. OK, buddy. Fisherman I've ever known. What do you mean? Well, I see you go out every day and I never see you catch anything. 
Oh, that's all right. It's a Zen thing. Yeah, well, maybe you should change your bait. No way. I haven't changed my bait since I was a kid. Really? Yep. My luck's about to change. I can feel it. Well, just be careful, OK? Because I think the weather's going to change. This is Nova Scotia. What else is new? Just sec, OK? Just in case. Thanks. Put it on my account, huh? Oh, don't worry about it. It's on the house. I'm really going to have to catch something. Scotia. He was out fishing, sir. According to the police report, seems he'd been doing that regularly. I'm so sorry. The Thornhill Explorer is late. And he goes to Nova Scotia to go fishing. That day, a storm came up. His engine must have failed. It looks like he panicked and tried to swim to shore. His body was washed up a day later. Where is he? In Chester. They'll release the Kevins. I can leave right away. Sir. No. No, I, I'll go get him myself. Yes, sir, sir. It is a terrible thing. Thank you. I'll, I'll tell you. That'll be all, Ferguson. If you could tell the authorities that Mr. Cannon will be coming to pick up Kevin, have Mercer meet him. I'll take care of it. Sorry, Mr. Cannon. Yes, thank you. The seaplane is in Long Island. It'll be here by 11.30. I can't believe it. I'm having a rather difficult time believing it myself. Do you think the Savitar announcement had anything to do with this? I'm not sure. I guess I'll be going to Chester.
Robert! Where do we go? You don't have to go anywhere if you don't want to. I've already identified the body and made arrangements for it to be released. Robert, I don't know what to say. I can't tell you how sorry I am. Thank you. I want to see him. If the explorer hadn't fallen behind, then Kevin never would have come out here. What do you mean? Well, I encouraged him. I feel responsible. Well, don't. It's not the first project that, that's fallen behind. No, but it was Kevin's project. I told you when this thing started. To treat it just like any other. Let's go. I'm afraid I've got some more bad news, Robert. About Savitar. What? I didn't want you to read it in the papers. Well, tell me. The rumors are true. They've just released their own version, and it isn't a beta test. It's the full deal. This is going to cost us, Robert. What do we do to catch up? <sighs> Nothing ever changes in this town. It sure is pretty. You must love growing up here as a kid. You know, Orrin, I couldn't wait to leave. How do we fix it? Are the chips still dirty? No, oh, I think we've got that link. Then what? We know the software works. Oh, in a cruise missile, maybe, but we're trying to pack a lot of information into a device you hold in your hand. We're rechecking all the schematics. We're... Orrin, how long? Six months. Six months? It's just bad luck. It'll kill the stock. Sorry for your loss, Robert. I appreciate your help, Ian. I wish the help could have been under happier circumstances. Where is he? He's up at the funeral parlor. I'm going to go see him. Of course. I'll meet you there. <clears throat> you don't have to do this, Robert. Yes, I do. Take all the time you need. Warren's already made the arrangements for you to take your brother back to Boston. No. I will bury him here. Kevin grew up here. Six generations of cannons are buried here. Kevin would like that. 
Yeah. How long will you be staying? I don't know, a few days. Can't leave the office for too long. Where will you be staying? The house. I closed up the house. Well, then open it. Such a great place. I always liked it. Well, I always wanted to get rid of it. Kevin loved it. Thank you, ladies. Can I get you a drink, Ian? Well, mineral water, if you have it. Mineral water? What is it? Beauty or? Old age. Here's to old friends. It's good to see you again. And to you, Robert. What happened, Ian? It's all in the report. Three nights ago, Kevin went out fishing. We found his tackle in the boat. Yeah, and? And when we spoke to the owner, she said he headed off in the direction of Shad Bay. The owner? Yeah, he rented a small outboard motorboat. Which marina? The one down in Mahone Bay where we used to play when we were kids. I thought they turned that into landfill. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's run the best it's been in years. Who's the owner? Evangeline Shaw, an American. She and her husband bought it two years ago. Her husband was killed last summer in a boating accident. You're suing a widow. What are you talking about? Uh, who's suing who? You launched a wrongful death suit against a marina. It's just the legal department doing its thing. Standard operating procedure these days. I thought it might have something to do with what she's been saying about Kevin's death. What she's saying? Well, that wasn't an accident. cheaper, but my uncle says squid. Well, different people use different bait. Well, what do you think? Well, it depends on what you like. Now, squid hey, takes... Excuse me. Hi. Um, I'll just be one second. Squid tends to last... I, I wonder if I take... could possibly... Well, I'm just with a customer. Um, if I were you, I would use bait that works fast. So, you see these guys here? Now, for the kind of fish that you're catching, I think these will work. And you know what? If it doesn't, you can always try the squid tomorrow. OK, thanks, Mrs. Shaw. You're welcome. Now, can I help you? Yes. My name is Robert Cannon. I believe that you knew my brother, Kevin. Could you please leave? I beg your pardon? Let me make it simple for you. Get out. No, you, you don't understand. I need to talk to you. I'm terribly sorry about your brother's death, but I have nothing to say to you. And why is that? Because you're blaming me for your brother's death. You're suing me. Oh. Oh, the lawsuit. Yes. Well, um, no, you don't understand. Uh, I, I'm not suing you. My company, Thornhill Software, is suing your company, Charles Marina. This is nothing personal. It's not personal? 
This marina is all I have. It's personal. Right. Of course it is. I'll tell you what. I will get my lawyers to drop the lawsuit. But I want you to tell me why you believe that my brother's death was not an accident. All right. Let me show you something. You see those boats on the other side of the dock? That's my rental line. Which one was Kevin's? Kevin's was the one at the end. Now, there's no way that his boat quit like they said it did. Of course not. These look like the latest in high-tech design. Yeah, well, high-tech isn't what you want. Simple is better. You say so. Simple is reliable, and I keep my boats in tip-top shape. I believe you do. Five bucks says it starts on the first pull. That's $3 American now. You're on. You sure you can handle it? I'll make sure the plant cuts a check. How about double or nothing? Sure. Well, what does that prove? It proves that they'll start under ideal circumstances. Oh, you're tough. You own your own company, right? Yes, why? Well, it's just funny. Because Kevin mentioned that he had a boss, but he never said anything about a brother. Excuse me. Sorry. Thank you. I behaved horribly yesterday. Well, I wasn't exactly a pillar of charm myself. Did you know Kevin well? He's a wonderful guy. I liked him. This really is an inappropriate time, but did you look at Kevin's fishing tackle? He had very expensive gear. And for gear that expensive, he never caught him. And he didn't run out of gas. When they brought his boat back, his tank was still half full. Thank you. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Beecham. Hey, boss. We're all thinking of you. Did the flowers arrive? They did indeed. Thank you. 
And the sun shone, and the minister was brief. How are you doing? When are you coming back? I'm not sure yet. I see. What did you find out? Nothing definite so far, but... There are a few unanswered questions. Please be careful. Oh, I will. Well, how long do you expect to be? I'll arrange to send you some more clothes. About a week. Don't worry, I'll reschedule everything. Even under these circumstances, it must be nice to be home. Well, it would be good if I could find something to eat. Listen, you couldn't uh, order some sushi for me, could you, from Takana's? I hear they uh, deliver. <laughs> Absolutely, but I think you're out of their three-mile range. You know, I'll have Mercer's assistant go shopping for no, you. No, 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 no. Please don't. The cupboard is full. Look, there's something I want you to do. I want you to find out about an Evie Shaw, S-H-A-W. First name, Evangeline, early 30s, American citizen. She's the owner of Shaw's Marina. Could you do that? Bye. Robert, you shouldn't be in today. Unless we get the Thornhill Explorer up and running right quick, our stock prices are going to melt down to China. I just buried your brother yesterday. Nothing more I can do for him. I want the latest anomaly reports, and I want them now. The mapping system works fine, but key in the intersection of Brunswick and Duke. Yeah, so what's the problem? Sometimes the elevation function works, sometimes it doesn't. Hmm. Right. Now ask for a view to the west. City Hall. That's the Citadel. So the memory's keyed in wrong, that's all. No, it isn't that simple. The actual building on that corner is the post office. Not the Citadel, not City Hall, the post office. Kevin figured that maybe the access algorithm wasn't syncing with the chip, so he'd fix that, and that would offset something else on something else, and he ended up just chasing his tail. All right, all right, all right. Pull up the schematics. Let's take a look at this. Even the discrepancies are inconsistent. Everyone in the plant has had a crack at this. Well, do you mind if I take a look at it? You're the boss. Foreign. How long have we known each other? 25 years. And uh, what was my area of expertise? Uh, computer software. So don't humor me. <laughs> when was the last time you wrote any code? Yeah, well, about six years ago, and, and six years. darn tight code it was. <laughs> six years is the difference between the Pony Express and email. And email. All right. What do we do? Keep it going or shut it down? We can't shut it down. We put 30 million in development. Well, we can write it off. And all of Kevin's work? For nothing? I can't believe you said that. Sentiment? This is a business decision, Oren. What are we going to do? Look, I'm sorry. OK, here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this home, and I'm going to figure out what is wrong with it. I'll see you later, Orrin. See you later.
Hello. Oh, good morning, Mr. Cannon. Good morning. I, um... I'd like to rent a boat. Uh, nothing fancy. Um, maybe one of these thingies here. Oh, well, there's nothing available. Two of them are booked out this afternoon, and the other one needs servicing. Is that a big problem? No, it's just regular servicing. So can you service it? Well, I'm going to later this afternoon. How about now? I'm busy now. What's the big rush? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just wanted to, I wanted to get out there. I wanted to uh, find the spot where they found it. I'm almost finished. Thank you. I'll just wait. I'll see you later. Thanks again. Whoa! Whoa. You might want to cast off first. Whoa! I don't know where I'm going. I'll draw you a map. Uh, OK. This is Chad's passage right here, right? Now, right here, as you go along, there'll be a dock on the left, OK? And just past that, there's a white navigation marker. And that's where they found Kevin's body. I think the proper nautical term is ahoy there. Yeah, well. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, what happened? You were supposed to be back. Well, what happened was this perfectly reliable engine of yours mm -hmm. stalled. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I'm surprised you didn't use your mobile phone to call your international headquarters. Yeah, well, I, I forgot it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Do you want to throw me a line? We're over there? Mm-hmm. You don't have a line? I don't see any line. Come here. I want to show you something. Uh, see? I, uh, I guess that explains what happened. That's okay. Mm. It happens. Come on, I'll tell you. You see that over there? That there is Spyglass Hill. No, it's not. It's called Gibbons Bluff. Nope. That's called Spyglass Hill. That's the name Kevin and I gave it when we were kids. It's a haven for smugglers and pirates. He used to spend hours up there looking out for British men of war. That's cute. A lot of people died around here looking for buried treasure out here and down by Oak Island. During Prohibition, they used to smuggle booze from here down to Boston. Piracy in these parts has had a long and venerable tradition. restaurant in town. God knows there wasn't when I grew up. I'm starving. Why don't I make you dinner? No, 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 no. I didn't mean that. Uh, you've done more than enough uh, for today. Thank you. I'm actually a good cook. No, I believe you are. But, uh, no, I'll just, I'll just go home. Make a box of cereal. No, I was thinking a can of beans. I have to shop anyway. Okay, yes. Great. Can I use your phone? Sure. I'll be right back. I just want to call the office. This is Ellen Beecham. Beecham. Hey, boss. I faxed you the information you asked about on Ms. Shaw. Uh-huh. You turn up anything interesting? She looks pretty ordinary on paper, except for her picture. She's very attractive. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What else? Well, I also got a line on a housekeeper for you. Uh, a couple, actually. She does the cooking, the cleaning, the shopping, and he does the gardening and the driving. No, no, that will not be necessary. Are you sure, boss? I mean, I know you're only going to be there a few days, but it will make you more comfortable. No, I, uh, I'd rather be alone. Okay. Well, if you need them, give me a call. I've got their number. What would I do without you? Uh, if you do uh, go home, uh, be sure to let me know. Boss, you know I always sleep at the office. That a girl. Thank you. How much do you pay that woman? Beecham? Not enough. Let's go. I can't believe this. They got 15 different types of olives here. Things sure have changed since I was a kid. Yeah, well, they even have arugula and reggiano parmesan. Yes, and fresh seafood on the coast. Can you believe it? Oops. I'm a little excited. I'm going to go get the wine. I'll do the shop. Boy, oh boy, real food. You already know what you're doing. <laughs> you, I'm not so sure about. No, I, I don't know. I was going for healthy, but then, you know, I started getting all these cravings, and I got, I got caught in a time warp. But uh, listen, I smell this. Mm, what aroma? Mm, yeah. With that diet, I don't know how you made it through puberty. I didn't. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me, please. No, 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 no please. No, no please. Let, uh, let me get this. You are one great cook. Oh, thank you. I used to cater in California. It was really nice to do this. I haven't done this in a long time. I so far cry from catering in California to running a marina out here. True. 
Must have been pretty tough after your husband died, huh? It was, but not in the way that you think. What do you mean? It was a big surprise. Why? It was an accident. Oh. How many years were you married? Three years. We met in California, we got married, and then we came here and bought the marina. Now, why would you want to go from California to here? It was Grant's dream. He wanted to get away from the rat race. Why'd you stay? His life insurance paid for the mortgage, and I mean, I could have sold it and left, but then I realized that I loved it here, and it gave me a sense of independence. Sometimes I feel guilty for that. Because his death bought you your freedom? No. We got married too fast. Grant had this way about him. He was hard to resist. So what changed? You ever wake up in the morning and you're not in love with someone? I felt relieved that I didn't have to tell him. So, have you ever been married? Um, no. So Kevin's your only family? Well, our parents died when I was 18. Kevin was about six. I guess I became more of a father than a brother to him at that point. You did a great job. No, this had nothing to do with me. This was entirely his doing. He was a pretty, um, engaging little kid. Never complained about anything. I, on the other hand, as a parent, was completely hopeless. Hmm. One time I took him to the movies when I was in college with some friends of mine. After the uh, film was over, I, I forgot all about him and I left him in the theater. That's awful. About an hour and a half later, I realized what I'd done, so I went, I bolted back there and there he was sitting exactly where I left him. He hadn't budged. <laughs> you must have felt terrible. He, he told me that um, he knew that I was gonna come back to get him. And, and that he appreciated the fact that he could watch the movie over again. And then he told me that he was sorry that that he made me worry about him. What do you do with a kid like that, huh? I can't believe I'm never gonna see him again. I'm sorry. Thank you for a wonderful dinner. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm sorry to be such a poor dinner companion. Please stay. If you'll excuse me. Opening it as we speak. Where's the prototype? What prototype? Kevin's prototype. The thing that got the whole thing started in the first place. Where is it? So someone is sabotaging the Thornhill Explorer project. I am absolutely sure of it. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to go and buy me the Savitar Navigator and you send it to me right quick. You think Savitar got a hold of Kevin's prototype? You remember the Concorde? You remember how the Russians ended up designing a supersonic airliner that looked exactly
exactly like it. Yeah, everyone said it was coincident technology. That the problems dictated identical engineering solutions. Yeah, that's what everybody said. And that's what Mercer's trying to tell me about the Explorer. Meanwhile, 20 years later, we cut to the Russians, and guess what? Somebody sold the Concorde design to them. Surprise, surprise. Get me that navigator. I'm going to find out exactly how they did it. What's going on with Shaw's Marina? Oh, yeah. Financials just came in. It's pretty much how Mercer described it. Evangeline Shaw is getting by, but she's certainly not getting rich. The balance sheet doesn't show much more than you can see from the dock. Uh-huh. Why the big interest? Drop the lawsuit. Yeah, you're right. Forget about it. She's got enough trouble as it is. I gotta go. I'll call you later. Hello. Oh, hi. I just I wanted gonna... to stay. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. No, after you. I was just really worried about you when you didn't show up this morning. Oh, yeah. I was, uh, I was working on my computer. I got lost. <laughs> Where's my boat? What do you mean, your boat? Well, well I was going to rent a boat today, remember? You said you were going to rent a boat this morning. Yes, well, I was busy this morning. I have a business to run. Well, I have a business to run, too. And so I had to rent your boat out, otherwise I would have lost money. Well, I wish you had phoned me. I would have paid for the entire day. Well, I did phone you, but your line was busy. I'm sorry. I'll tell you what, I'll rent this boat. No, you couldn't handle it. Well, then I will hire you to be my guide. No, I don't think so. Well, why not? I don't see a heck of a lot of action around here. Well, something could come up. Like what? A worm shortage? I'll pay you. I'll pay you to give me boat, boat lessons for a day. In fact, I'll pay you to give me boating lessons for the week. I'll pay in advance, OK? I don't take out tourists. Please. On one condition. What's that? It's free. My eyes, Skipper. Okay, you want to hug close to the shore a little bit to adjust to the wind, otherwise you're going to get blown out too far. Now, you see that point where that big tree is? Yeah. Okay, you want to head straight for that. that old war? There? There. See it? Yeah. When it just passes your left shoulder, it's going to be safe to turn in. Do you have any idea what Kevin was doing out here the night he died? No, he just said he went fishing. Do you know where exactly? He just said that he loved fishing when he was a kid, so I figured he found some secret spot that he remembered. Kevin hated fishing when he was a kid. Then why did he go out every night? You said he never came back with anything. He wasn't fishing. That's strange. Then where was he going? Exactly. OK, you can turn now. OK, stop. been poking around for two days in a row now. What's he looking for? What does it matter? He won't find anything. I don't like it. He's getting way too friendly with Evie. So? She's a beautiful woman. You worry too much. And you don't worry enough. A man like Robert Cannon doesn't indulge in idle flirtations. Don't underestimate him. He's been spending a lot of quality time with my wife. I'm hardly going to underestimate him. Get serious, Shaw. You don't have to face him day after day. 
I tell you, he suspects something. <laughs> he might suspect you, but he won't suspect me. I'm dead, remember? And thanks to Robert Cannon, very rich. This is it, isn't it? This is where they found him. He was missing for 36 hours. The currents usually run this way, so he was probably up on the west part of the island. I don't know, it's hard to say. If I had tide tables, it would be a lot easier. There's so many variables. It doesn't tell me a great deal, does it? We should head back. All the rentals will be coming in. You know, maybe, uh, maybe you should drive. I, I'm terrible at this. No, you can drive. I should just teach you how to drive safely. Okay, this okay, is good. Okay, 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 yeah. Just now, right. just, just, just slow. No, just slow, 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 no, no, slow, no, slow, 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 You just got to turn. All right. No, just, ah. Oops. You know, it's no use. I'm no good at this. No, you just need a little no, no. practice. I'm just no good at this. No, you just need a little now, you, practice. You, uh, you take over. Because if I have to keep well, doing this. Well, you can give it another try. No, 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 no. Then we'll starve. I, I, I was hoping to take you out for dinner to, to you know, to thank you. But uh, where? So, you know what? I'll cook. Uh, I don't think so. Look, if we were in Boston, I could take you to this great Italian restaurant. Yeah, well, we're from Boston. I wouldn't have a thing to wear because I've been working at a marina for two years. Well, then I'd take you down to the, down to the pier, and you could, we could go to Ed's Diner. Good food and plenty of it. Maybe. Can I take that as a yes? I don't think it's a good idea. Are you going to hold one moment of bad behavior against me for the rest of my life? It's complicated. Yes, it is complicated. Life is complicated. One damn thing after another. <laughs> can I bring dessert, then? Absolutely not. In fact, you can bring anything you want, except dessert. See ya. Two dogs ah, with the works. I love sauerkraut. No, I, don't yeah. know, I don't know what it is, but lately I've been having a craving for this kind of food. I don't know. Mm, it's comfort food. It's because you're home. Oh, is that what it is? I feel the same way. Whenever I go home, I always ask my mother to make spaghetti and meatballs, tomato soup, meatloaf, and grilled cheese sandwiches. Tous les spécialités de ma maison. Mm, you speak French. Of course. All these foods are in my cupboard. Mm -hmm. Except for meatloaf and um, this. Now, where did you get that? Mrs. Beecham. Does she have a first name? Yes. She's my trusted and loyal assistant. She sends me care packages. Try it. C'est bon, huh? Mm. That, and of course, mustard. Now, don't tell me she sent you this from Boston. No, from Paris. You're kidding. That's why she's indispensable. I see. I miss this. And at the end of the meal, a further surprise, dessert. Now, what would dessert entail? Well, uh, I can't tell you. It's a surprise. Oh, come on. Just give me a little hint. No, it wouldn't be a surprise. No, just a little hint. Well, all right. In boarding school, this stuff was so good that it was forbidden to all and sundry in the lower forms. Really? You're gonna have to wait. 
Now what if I don't have any patience? Eat up. Okay. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> well, I wanted to strike the proper note of respect. I feel like I'm being admitted into some kind of secret society. That's absolutely magnificent, my dear. Now you have to uh, come over here. Now don't look, don't peek. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to sit there. And I'm going to sit here. Okay, it's like a ritual. All right. All right together. Let's go. Close your eyes. <laughs> Close your eyes. Can't mm -hmm. look. All right, ready? Okay. No peeking. I'm not peeking. Okay, open them. Oh, my God. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. That's your big surprise? Yeah. Mars bars. No, no, this isn't just, you know, Mars bars. This is like frozen Mars bars. Mm-hmm. What, 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 do you know about it? Yeah. Oh. Haven't you seen my freezer? At the marina. No, why? Well, I sell them to the kids all the time, and I actually have my own secret stash. Can you tell me everybody knows about this? Yeah. This is terrible. Can I eat this now yes. before it melts? Okay. Yes, there you are, my dear. Oh, look at chocolate. Oh, God, and vanilla. Mm. I love this. This is so good. Mmm. Mmm. You know what my sister and I used to do? No, what? We used to take ice cream and Mars bars and peppermint crunchy things mm -hmm. and pistachios and we put them all together, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'd stuff them between these two graham crackers and then we'd put it by the fire and then it would all melt. And then we'd take mm -hmm. a big bite and we'd get it all over our face oh, and gosh. it was so good. It's a terrible addiction. Mm-hmm. Mm. What? Oh, nothing. Mm. What? I think you might, um, I think you have a little, um, like a little, um... Are you trying to kiss me? Yes. Okay. Mmm! <laughs> chocolate since I was like mm. eight. Oh my this god. This is so strange. Mm. What's strange? This is so strange. I grew I grew up here. This is my room. Really? Mm-hmm. Well okay, where are all the like airplanes and all oh, those little toy dinosaurs. cars oh. and little dinosaurs and oh. I uh, had it re redecorated. Yeah. So what do you think? Oh yeah. Pretty, pretty bland, right? Mm. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I didn't even meet the interior decorator. I want to get rid of this place, but Kevin wanted to hold on to it. Why'd you redecorate? It's a long story. My dad bought this place for my mom because she was sick. Now, he thought that maybe the country would, would help do her some good, but it didn't. She died. My father sank into a very deep depression. A year later, he killed himself. I'm so sorry. Oh. I still like Kevin. Kevin had you? No, not really. Not at first. I pushed him away. But everywhere I went, there he was, looking at me after school, doing my homework. I. Finally, I went up to him and I said, what do you want? He looked at me and he asked, are you going to die too? Are you going to go away? I let him down. No, you didn't. He loves you very much.
boy you get up early in the morning. <laughs> you scared me. I'm sorry. Oh, well, you just... You look so peaceful, I didn't want to wake you. What you doing? I'm snooping. Oh, you're snooping. Mm-hmm. And what are you snooping at? I just wanted to see if I was right. About what? Man. Yes. Oh, yes. You see, Kevin never unwrapped his lures. Well, what is that? This is Kevin's prototype. I've been looking for this. Oh, darn. What? It's not working. Can I get you some coffee? Coffee, yeah, that would be great, thank you. I promise there are no Mars bars on this tray. What's wrong? Come over here, take a look at this. This is what Kevin was working on when he died. The Thornhill Explorer. You tell it uh, where you want to go and it'll show you how to get there. What's a great idea? Yeah. Except it doesn't work. And this here is the Savitar Navigator. It does what this is supposed to do. They didn't. Yeah. As a matter of fact, they did. And I can prove it. Take a look at this. That's the Explorer software. Kevin designed that. He liked to play around, put little messages show off kev kevin now let's look at the savitar software again see it there oh my god identical software it's not a coincidence kevin was murdered I can't believe they killed Kevin for software. Yeah, well, it's worth millions to him. It's a pretty good motive. I'm gonna have to build one of these from scratch. Why, when you already have proof? Because whoever sabotaged production at the factory is behind Kevin's murder. And he's still around. Which means you can't get parts from your factory. No. And I can't trust anybody. I can go to Halifax for you. You know, you're really something.
hope I'm not interrupting anything. Ah, Beecham. It's okay, I didn't need a shower anyway. What's up? I'm sorry, but when you weren't at the plant, I figured I should give you a call at home. Well, what is it? Evangeline Shaw? No, no, I, I thought we stopped all that. Uh, what's going on? More than meets the eye, apparently. Well, what is it now? Ferguson digs something up here. She has a history of family lunacy. She's got seven kids somewhere, is that it? It's financial, boss. Ferguson got new information on both her and the marina. Well, then you better tell me about it. No, I can't. Not over the phone. It's too sensitive. I sent you Ferguson's report by encrypted email. Your boss. I'm sorry to say that Kevin's name appears all through it. Kevin? Who else knows about this? It's just me and Ferguson. I want you to keep this between us. Absolutely. <sighs> what do you want to do? Play along. Someone went to a lot of trouble to set this up. Oh, boss, come on. This is getting really scary. Kevin's dead because of this. Don't do anything foolish. Oh, I have no choice. I'm going to have to shake this tree real hard and see what falls out. I got to go. I'll call you later. Oh, my god. This stuff is so expensive. This guy thought that I was this real high-tech junkie. Oh, I stopped by the marina, and I got these Thai tables, too, and... What? I thought you told me that uh, the marina didn't make a profit last year. No, it didn't. And, and you... You haven't bought a new dress in over two years, is that right? Well, I haven't had to until last night. And, and you knew my brother Kevin only... I need to talk to him. All right, what's going on? Tell me about Lantern. Lantern? Tell me about Beagles. Beagles? When was the last time you were in Switzerland? Grant and I went there two years ago. And while you were there, did you happen to visit Davos, visit a charming, discreet little bank? What? Take a look at this. Series of deposits in a Swiss bank account, Shaw's Marina, in your name. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is deposits of 600,000 in your name. Deposits 1,200,000 in your name. Deposits of 450,000 in your name. <laughs> I would know if I had that much money. You do. This is your account. Your passwords. Password, lantern. Password, beagles. Oh, and, and one other thing. Coincidentally, the date of the deposits coincides with the dates of Kevin's visits. Here, that's a pretty good racket you've got here, Shaw's Marina. You must think we're all chumps, don't you? Is that what you thought Kevin was, a chump? Wait a second, you're accusing me of sleeping with your brother in order to rip you off? I am accusing you of stealing his designs and selling them to the competition. That's what I'm accusing you of. Ah, uh, what do I know about computer software? You don't have to know anything. All you have to do is slip a, a disc into somebody's pocket. Now, why would he do that? Because he was jealous! Of you? You knew this whole house of cards was gonna fall down. That's why you started this affair with me, isn't oh, it? Oh, we had an affair. It all went according to plan. Keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. What do I know about computer software and money laundering? Everything that your husband taught you. Or is this just coincidence? You... <sighs> You want to believe this. You let me into your life, you trust me, and now you're pushing me away. You'd rather believe that your own brother sold you out than admit that you care about me. It's okay. If you're that afraid, go ahead. Call the cops. think she was in on this with Kevin? Security dug up the secret bank accounts in Switzerland. I don't think it. I got proof. It's hard to believe. It explains everything. It explains the delays. It explains the 
disasters, why you couldn't get to the root of it? Why kept changing? I guess I should have kept a closer eye on him. I don't know what I did wrong. I just wanted what was best for him. You tried, Robert. Kevin had to learn to help himself. I'm real sorry about this. So am I. Why are you arguing with me? I want to press charges. In there fact, I want you to press charges. Oh, with all my charge. Well, you sound against. like you're Why proud of that. Why am I still that. selling worms to Tori? It's quite obvious, because you're covering up. Oh, police. You're covering up. You're, you're laying down. Look, I've got evidence here. I've got bank statements. I've got deposit times. I've got signatories. I've even got passwords here. I want this her arrested. insane. Give me that. All right. I want I'll her take, in jail. I'll take this evidence, and I'll look into any charges that have to be laid. Oh, you're going to arrest me, Ian? No, I'm not. But, Evie, I don't want you to leave the area unless you notify me. Oh, well, where am I going to go with all my accounts frozen? Well, Cannon is convinced that Evie and his brother sold the plans to Savitar. He found the money you put in their account. Controlled by the widow, Shaw. I left a little electronic trail for your eager boss. The back door to the marina's accounting program that nobody knows about but me. Well, now what? Now all we have to do Let's get out of here. I don't have to go anywhere. Canada doesn't suspect me at all. Yeah, you're squeaky clean. This is my lovely wife. I'm going to take Evie on our second honeymoon. That's crazy. Really? Well, I think she's earned it, having to survive the past year without me. You can't come out of hiding. Why not? I mean, who do you think this is all for? It costs a lot to keep a young wife happy, and I want to make Evie very happy. Even though I had your boss find a couple of million, there's more than enough left over for us and Evie, too. But she thinks you're dead. What if she doesn't want to go with you? Well, well what if she goes to Cannon? Then I'll take care of Cannon. No. No more killing, Shaw. You can't you're do squeamish. any more killing. You're squeamish. Kevin's All death had to was on was to look Kevin Once quiet, you travel down do this road, we you can't just turn it off whenever you feel like I it. I told you Grow not. up, Mercer! It's not a road, it's a roller coaster ride. And the only way you're going to get off is if I throw you off. Ferguson thinks we need help, and I think maybe we should hire a team of forensic accountants. No, 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 not yet. Look, boss, we feel that... I feel that you might be putting yourself in danger, and I just can't stand by and watch you do that. Look, Beecham, I appreciate your maternal concern. But I am going to do this my way, OK? Just why? What are you trying to prove? What I am going to prove is that Kevin was not dishonest, and I'm going to ensure that he gets full credit for the... Uh... That's odd. What? Kevin's prototype. It looks like it's working. It must have gotten wet in the tackle box. Listen, tell Ferguson that he's right, but to hold off. And uh, I'll call you tomorrow. Thank you.
closed. Hiya, honey, I'm home. <laughs> Did you miss me? Grant? In the flesh. Not bad for a dead man. Aren't you surprised? <sighs> I've come back for you like Orpheus for Eurydice. I couldn't leave the love of my life behind. Mercer and I were friends in college. We made beer money pirating computer programs. Oh, no, nothing like this, of course. When Mercer got the job running the Thornhill plant, I bought the marina, and we waited. So the marriage in the marina was all a lie. Not our marriage, never our marriage. That was the hard part. I never stopped loving you. Staying away was the hardest thing I've ever done. You love me so much, you set me up. I didn't. No, well, not at first. I just figured nobody would suspect you. I used a back door to the marina's accounts to get the money out of the country without attracting attention. Hello? I need to talk to Sergeant McCrae. Oh, he's eating his supper. No, no, this is very important. Tell him it's Robert Cannon. And then Robert Cannon got too close to the truth. I had to expose your accounts. What is it, Robert? Look, I'm down at the marina. Warren Mercer has just been murdered. What? I think I'm looking at the man who did it. He's with Evie Shaw. I need you to get down here immediately. I'm on my way. Sweetie, call the station, tell him to bring the boat. And what about Kevin? Kevin? Hmm. Oh, yeah, well. well that, was, that was unfortunate. Grant, I don't want to go. No, 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 of course you do. Grant, my life is here now. I have the marina and everything. I am talking about Rio, Paris, Rome. We can go wherever you want. Come on. It'll be like a second honeymoon. Grant, I don't want to go. You have no choice. Your rich boyfriend doesn't want to have anything to do with you. He'll have you arrested. Sorry. We have to go now.
liable. Hey! Hey, McCray! Over here! McCray! What happened to you? Grant Shaw is alive. How do you know that? He's got Evie. He killed Mercer. He's in that boat out there. We gotta go after him. We'll never catch him in the dark. Oh, yeah? What's that? Something my kid brother invented. What's it do? She's in the dark. If we do catch her, stay below. I don't want to see your face up here. He's changed direction. Where's he going? You remember Smuggler's Cove? Smuggler's Cove? Which Smuggler's Cove are you talking about? Up the north end of Shad Bay. Gin? Gin? Isn't that you made me drink a whole bottle of gin? I still can't touch this stuff. Good thing I can. He stopped. Pull us ashore over there a bit. What are you doing? We can't go charging up the cove with our lights blazing. They'll see us miles away. We're going to have to get off the boat and go on foot. That's the only way we're going to surprise them. And don't go being a hero. Take the fall. Watch your step here. I'm sure your boyfriend will have boats and helicopters combing the area in the morning. We'll have to make a run for Maine in the dark. Voila! Plan B. <laughs> Evie, come back! Evie, there's no place to go! Evie! Pretty healthy for a dead man. You're lucky, Evie. Robert saved your life. Are you all right? Thanks. Uh, actually, I uh, I didn't save your life. Kevin's invention saved your life. It's the least I could do. Especially since you thought I was involved in this mess. No, 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 that's not true at all. I, I just, you know, I had to find out what happened. Oh, so you were using me. Yes, I mean, no, no. Yes, to find out who killed Kevin. You are such a cold fish. I am? Yeah, and, and set up that meeting with Savitar. I, I... I've already done that. I called the chairman of the board at home. And he was awfully apologetic. Yeah, I'll bet he was. He expressed his shock and horror at the idea of being in possession of stolen software. And he said that they would launch a full-scale investigation. Plus, he's waiting to see you the second you get back to Boston. I'll bet he is, considering we're about to launch a better product. <laughs> I've already scheduled a marketing meeting as well. What would I do without you? I'll see you tonight. Great, have a safe flight. And tell Evie I'm looking forward to meeting her. Excuse me? Uh, I'm coming home alone. Alone? Robert Cannon? That has got to be the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard you say. 
What? You have just lost your brother. You've just lost your closest and oldest business associate. You love Evangeline Shaw. And if you're thinking of leaving that woman behind, then, then you're the biggest idiot I've ever met, and you deserve to live alone for the rest of your life. Uh, now, look, Beecham, I, I appreciate your concern, but this is really none of your business. Hold on a second. Hello? Hey, hello? Hello? Beecham, are you there? Uh, uh, where is that plane going? Where is that plane going? Hello, Beecham? Hello, boss. I told them not to land just yet. What? But you still had some unfinished business. Don't come home without her. Goodbye, Beecham. Tool. You know, I was really, really dumb what I did. It was extraordinarily stupid on my part putting you in danger. I mean, I love you. If I had any brains at all, I would not have done that. I apologize. Well, Grant would have shown up sooner or later. Would you please stop doing that with the wrench, please? Well, then I won't know what to do with my hands. Um, just, just stop that. Please? Please? 